So the other day, after we reviewed Throne Cleaver, I stated that the role that I was most interested in was the ultimate damage role. By the way, if you haven't seen our Throne Cleaver review, check it out. Pretty good, man. We pretty much touched up on every aspect of the weapon. So if you want to know how this sword performed in both PvP and in PvE, feel free to check that one out. Today's review, though, guys, is a lot more specific. Again, we're focusing on one role. Essentially, guys, we are trying to get the highest amount of impact that we can get here on this aggressive sword and combine it with two sets of traits, and that is Shattering Blade and the new trait, Counterattack. Boys, it's nasty. So let's take a quick look at what's happening here on this role. First up, we have Jagged Edge, which elevates our impact. Again, like I said the other day, the impact stat is visually capped, but that is not the case again for some reason. On the stat bar down there, and even in Destiny Item Manager, the impact does not seem to go up past like 90 impact. Technically, our impact right now should be 95 with something like Jagged Edge. Now, the first trait we're going to be looking at is Shattering Blade. If your heavy attack consumes the last of your ammo, it deals significantly increased damage, excluding aerial attacks. Now, I was kind of concerned about that because this is an aggressive sword, meaning when you do your heavy attack to begin with, you are in the air. So I was concerned that this would break Shattering Blade or not proc it, but I'm pretty sure that just means if you are already in the air, when you go to do the attack, then it'll be excluded from Shattering Blade blade activating now moving on to the final trait we also have counterattack guarding while receiving damage grants a damage buff for five seconds and of course boys we are combining this with the exotic stronghold as there really is no better exotic to combine here for titans when it comes to using a big ass sword now scooting on over to greg let's check out some damage values first up we already went over light attacks the other day heavy attacks light attacks plus counter attack we even went over damage values with melting point and tractor cannon the highest damage amount that we got up to was 14,506 damage. And that was, of course, with heavy attack, counter attack, plus tractor cannon. The damage is not bad. Essentially, we were able to kill someone like Greg in two revolutions of hits, or essentially four light attacks and two heavy attacks. Now, with something like Shattering Blade, this is when things hit a whole nother level. So just basing this on heavy attacks, because again, that's the only attack here benefiting from Shattering Blade. But just collecting some damage values here, guys, a heavy attack with Throne Cleaver is hitting 6,909 damage. Now, the reason why this is actually more than the heavy attack I just showed you, because again, this one, we got Jagged Edge, which of course gives us more impact, therefore more damage. Now, a heavy attack plus counter attack does 10,132 damage. Now, a shattering blade attack by itself, I'm not procking anything else, does 20,263 damage. Oh, baby. Hold up now. Keep it together, boys. It gets even nastier. Heavy attack plus counter attack plus shattering blade gives us a total damage of 30,394 damage. But just to go a step further, if you weren't already ready to blow your load, heavy attack plus counter attack plus shattering blade plus tractor cannon does 45,590 damage. Again, this is just on Greg, but at least to my knowledge, from a one hit perspective, like a one to one ratio, this is the hardest hitting heavy weapon in the game. Just on a one to one, okay? Like I know there's many other weapons that can out DPS this gun or this, this sword, it's not a gun. But the point I'm trying to make is when combining all of these things, do we actually get a glimpse of how nasty swords can be? Now, something I wanna mention about Shattering Blade is that it doesn't need four ammo at the end there to proc. It can proc on literally one ammo. As long as you got enough to do a heavy attack or just start a heavy attack, it will give you the full damage. So you don't need four ammo there at the end in order to get the benefits here. It's literally anything from four to one. Now just comparing our previous damage values in terms of percentage increases, where our heavy attack began and where it ended up, was a 125% increase there in damage, which I think we all sat around and pat ourselves on the back and was like, yeah, it's pretty good. But then we see the percentage increase here with this sword and these set of traits. And from start to finish, our damage increased by 560%. Hot damn, boys. I don't know what else to say right here. That is a ginormous jump from simply combining two sets of traits and a little bit of tracker juice. Now, is this something you should be bringing in all of your PvE activities? 
This is gonna be tough because despite this being really nasty, number one, you gotta ask PvE players to get up close and personal with things that could stomp the hell out of you. Number two, you also gotta ask them to play a Titan. And I don't know if you know this or not, there's not many Titans in PvE. Kind of a dying breed, man. And thirdly, you gotta be really conscious of your ammo. How much heavy you got on you? Are you gonna proc it in time to take advantage of both counterattack and shattering blade there on the end? It's not necessarily hard to do, but it's definitely not something you can just do mindlessly like I know many of us especially me when I'm just running through some strikes I'm just on autopilot man I'm just killing stuff smacking things in the face I'm not sitting there looking at my ammo timing my attacks procking another trait chaining it into another trait I mean that it, it just requires a lot right and sometimes you're just gonna want to be on autopilot and this is not the setup for you but for my titans out there that likes to be right there in the ball sack of his enemies or hers and you just like to have a big old sword in your hand and smash some enemies man that there is no better role than this one right here the way i look at it guys i want this role specifically for those encounters where i'm running low on ammo i've got like literally three heavy ammo left on this sword and in that moment i'm able to go to absolute pound town it does a lot of damage but i do know this is just not for everyone but for those that sit down and say that swords are super weak they were for sure but with these new set of traits and when combining them they definitely reach a level of potency that i wasn't expecting so guys that is thrown cleaver at 560 percent so get your hands on it fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right